Hey guys! Wow, it's been a long time. Uh, I don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. If I make it really simple, I've been going through depression. Just earlier in 2018. And you know what changed all of that? I went on a trip. I went on a trip to China. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? But I mean, okay, for some people it's not crazy, it's reasonable, but I mean, for me it's kind of crazy because uh, it's been a while that I wanted to go there. And I think that was what triggered my depression. And I'm here to start again. And uh, now I'm actually in a new city in Vancouver, everything's new. I'm still maybe not that happy, but I'm still working on it. And I think it's all about working on it, you know? It's not about running away from it, it's about facing it. Technically, I'm not going through depression no more. But I think it takes a lot of work. And if you're down for that, and you want to beat the shit out of this depression, or this anxiety, well, keep on watching. Okay guys, so this is how it works, this is how it starts. You see this? You see it? Not yet, not yet. This is what is my number one tool to beat depression. What is that? It's a board. What is this board? It's erasable. And you know how much this costs? I mean, for people out there who care about costs like I do, this cost me only like three, three dollar and thirty cents, maybe four dollars plus tax. But like, this is like a magic board. You know why? Because I can write on it anything that goes through this head onto this board. Follow up. So, you've been going through the same things I did, right? You've been wondering what's life. Why am I even alive? Why am I holding on to this life? I could just stay in bed all day. I could just chill. I could just relax. I don't even care anymore. Why is it even worth to live? Or some of you might even thought something deeper. Maybe I don't want to exist. Well, I'm here to tell you that inside each one of us, Despite what's going on and telling you words in your head. Well, you can just say to this voice, you know what? Shut up. Why? Because you can decide to turn what's going on in your head and transform it on a paper. But here, this is not a paper. This is actually a board. Why a board is cool? It's because instead of losing your papers all the time, like I did, or like accumulating papers and it just gets you more depressed each time you read about it you can just write it up once it's done, you erase it and you start over with your next goal because I think beating depression is all about goals so this is how it all started I told myself, okay why am I well, oh, wow, I should write upside down. But I mean, why am I depressed? Can you even read this? I mean, okay, it's gonna be upside down, but like, the whole idea here is to tell yourself, why am I depressed? That's number one. That's a really short, that's like a pretty big shortcut I'm giving you guys, but that's the most important thing. Why? Second, how did it happen? How? Where did it start? When did it start? Or who made me feel like shit? Right? Or is it me? Or is it out of my control? Is it something you can control or is it not? That's a kind of a 
quite difficult question here because you can decide to take control over what you're thinking. It's going to be quite a challenge, but how you do that is by changing how you think because those beliefs are actually <laughs> those beliefs are actually making you go crazy, right? And those beliefs are something you can change about yourself. So what I realized is that <clears throat> to be all nice and close and personal is that what made me unhappy, what? It was the fact that I was holding on to dreams. Many people, when they're depressed, they say they have no goal, no dream. Why am I alive? What, what's going on? Like, there's nothing to hold on. There's no hope, right? But what if you go back to the times where you did have dreams, you did have hope, right? Because it just hits you like wham on your head and no it's not from one day to the other you feel like shit forever no 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 it comes in slowly and each day there's something else that makes you doubt yourself it makes you doubt yourself to the point you don't believe in yourself anymore and when you don't believe in yourself anymore you think well i mean am i really able to do what i want to do so the whole thing is that you do have dreams and if you don't i invite you to go back to your journals of when you were a kid or ask your parents or your friends what you used to dream about what did you want to do because I, i think as human beings we can say we don't have dreams we don't have goals but we're actually just lying to ourselves because i mean If we want to buy a Slurpee, or we want to like go and get some clothes, that's a need. But it's actually something you want. And something you want is pretty close to a dream. So is there something more challenging, bigger, something that you think is impossible that you want to do? now? This is what I'm talking about. This is your dream. This is what you're going to try to search and hold on to. This is your lifesaver. This is what will get you out of this. Okay? You will have to search and face yourself. And yeah, I'm feeling these goosebumps right now because... It's pretty damn difficult to actually tell yourself what you you know what I mean I made it and this is what makes you feel so proud of yourself this is what makes you feel like you can gain confidence again and that's why I really encourage you to chase your dreams and even if people around you tell you ah oh, whatever it's difficult like oh you know what are you talking about like who cares like you're living in another world okay sure you're living in another world you're going through depression and yeah that's a whole different completely different world and that's what's magical okay i'm gonna tell you that it makes you feel like everything is possible once you can make it come true And I want that to happen for you guys too, okay? I want that to happen to everyone who's going through shit. Uh, I don't want to say any other word than shit because I might sound like... Like I'm... Yeah, I'm kind of like stopping myself to say but like worse words than that. So maybe I could say something nicer. Like, oh, whatever. Like, you don't want to feel like... Doomza, okay? You got goals, you got dreams, you gonna chase everything you need till you feel happier, yeah. Okay, so that's what it's all about. So that's the number one thing I would like to you to, to do. Um, it doesn't have to be each day, you can just take a few moments once in a while, but at least tell yourself that to get out of this, you have to do this. Okay, you have to do something to get out of something. Like you cannot just stay there and stand still on your bed. <sighs> yeah.
yeah you have to become like you have to literally be angry at yourself okay for those people out there who tell you like oh man be positive stop being so negative you have to be negative in order to be positive that's what i think you're gonna have to face yourself and say hey yeah i'm mad i'm mad at what not at yourself i'm mad at the way i'm thinking because it's not really how i'm thinking it's just like something i have no control over that's making me think that way right i'm mad because i cannot realize what no that's what i want you to be mad about make a damn list make a list sorry about everything you want to change everything you dream oh i'm tired i'm mad why okay i'm mad because i'm lazy oh yeah that's one thing that i think many of us can agree that we're gonna be super mad about because we're gonna be angry at ourselves for being lazy for because i procrastinate yep that's a lot of people there they're gonna be like ah, I'm, I'm always so lazy and i procrastinate Oh, you're just gonna say it, but I want you to know to say it, realize it, and tell yourself, I'm tired of procrastinating, I'm tired of being lazy, I'm tired of telling myself I can't. Okay? I'm also tired of telling myself I can't what? You know, for me, it was traveling, okay? That was the number one thing. I was going to school. I was doing my best. I was struggling. I had anxiety. I had depression. I have everything going on that was really bad. And I couldn't concentrate in school. And then I had those crushes on those people. And I was just, like, feeling so bad about myself all the time. I was, like, self-deprecating myself to other people around me and telling myself. And I was telling them, you know what? I really want to travel. I want to travel. I want to go there. I want to do this. I want to do this. Not this. Not this. Blah, blah. And I want to, like, uh, change the world. Those kind of things. Okay. I said so many things. Did I do something about it? No. This made me feel even worse. Okay? I kept saying things I want to do. But I didn't do it. Now, these are the things that I got mad at myself for often. Because I was like, wait a second. I keep telling people I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna travel. I'm gonna go to China. But I ended up not doing it. And just talking about it. And people didn't necessarily want to continue talking about it with me because I didn't have the experience. I didn't have nothing to tell them about it. I was just dreaming. I was just telling them my dreams. A big thing here. Let me take all of this out. Wow. The way to make dreams come true is to tell yourself this. Dreams are what they are plans now if you put yourself in this mindset dreams are plans what are plans you do something about it you're actually taking action and doing something about it this is the difference between having dreams, talking about it, being angry about not realizing them, and then you actually do something about it. When you do something about it, that's when you will slowly, step by step, step by step, you will be able to get to your goals. When you make a goal, you feel what? Happy. Not just that. Not just that. You feel proud. You feel so proud. And it's not proud to like brag about it. No, you feel proud inside of you. Honestly, I did a trip for myself. I went to China. I didn't even like post anything about it. I didn't put it on social media anything because 
I was doing it for myself, not to brag about it. I was doing it for me to feel better in my own skin. And it worked. Because when you do something for yourself, that's when you slowly build something called self-love. And that's probably something you lost along the way when you were feeling depressed. That's probably something you started losing so much that you hated yourself. My theory here is that you can start loving yourself after having started to hate yourself. Okay guys, so to wrap up this video, um, yeah, I want you to just realize that first of all, <laughs> you gotta figure out why you're depressed. And it might take forever to figure out, but I think it's 100% more worth than just going out. Like, I, I refuse to go through pills. I do not judge people who goes on p pills, but I know that personally I wanted to face my problems and not be in a state, a mental state where I'm not actually in control. For me, it's super important to be in control. And I would like people to maybe learn, I mean, not learn, but I'm there to, like, I would love to share what I went through in order to help you guys, even if just a bit. Maybe what I will be telling <laughs> will not resonate with you. Maybe it won't help you. But if it does, I'm, like, super, super, super glad and thrilled because once you're more comfortable with yourself and your emotions and... You can start really like getting yourself out of that hole and you can start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel And I want you guys to be able to reach that if and if I can do that. I would be so 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 glad and So the first thing of course is to try to figure out why you're depressed and after that I want you to write a list of things that are your dreams things that you want to realize and that you've been holding back to do because of those beliefs in yourself that I will be glad to go through further in other videos in the future because I did go through uh, some therapy sessions online and that really helped me out and I will refer to them as well for you guys. You could go up and say for instance BetterHelp and it's a great great place to go. Uh, yeah, you just have to figure out that and then after you know your dreams, you have to try to start working on it. Once you start working on it, even just here and there, a little bit, you have to create your own hope. And by creating your own hope, which are dreams that become plans, and plans are something you do an action about in order to gain what? A feeling of being proud. Once you're proud, you can start feeling like you can love yourself again. And even if it will take forever, I will be giving you many tricks to learn how to love yourself again. Because I've been through some really bad times. And now I know how to at least give myself a hug once in a while. A tap on the shoulder. A yes, you're a good girl. Just keep on going, you know? I want you to think that way too and so that's that and then after that I want you to get mad at yourself but not mad at yourself mad at what's going on in your head I want you to try to get this energy this anger to get you out of this and with this anger and like self-hate you will start to love yourself again it sounds pretty um, controversial, <laughs> I know, because everyone's so forward about being so positive in life nowadays, and that's another video I will be <laughs> sending next if you want. Put a thumbs up or just comment anything. And if you already agree with me, which would surprise me, but if you do, just tell me what you think about it. and. If any of those tricks so far can help you, uh, yeah, give me feedback and just email me. Um, 
I'll write down my email below. You can even message me on Facebook if you want. <laughs> my name is Valerie Schultz. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm doing this because I want to help you guys. And I'm still helping myself. And I'm not going through therapy anymore because we know how expensive that is. And if you do, I encourage you to do so if you have the means to. But I want to give yourself some shortcuts. Not always like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to talk to someone for hours and just figure out things by my own because that's mostly what therapy does. But I can bring you up with some nice worksheets and things you can do that help me out. And uh, yeah, I mean, just give me feedback and I'll be more than happy to welcome you again on my channel for the next video. And if you have any recommendations, please feel free to do so too. Alright, peace. See you guys.